Welcome to Learning Grass GIS. This is tutorial number six. Starting Grass GIS with a new project. We're going to be using coordinate system parameters from a list. On this tutorial, I will show you how to define or create a new location with its corresponding map set. Um, if you haven't done so, please review tutorial number one so you learn or you know how to install Grass GIS with the sample data that we will be using on this tutorial. Um, you will learn how to define a grass database and location name. You will learn how to choose a projection for your location. And you will learn how to choose your projection location parameters. And also, you will learn how to choose your location specific geodetic. Okay, we open our instance of grass GIS. And the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the structure of the screen here. Um, if we look here on the left hand side of the window, we have our project location. In the middle, we have the map sets. And on the right, we have a section called Manage. And we're going to be working with the Manage section, the Location Wizard, to create a location on this area with its corresponding map set on this area. OK, so we begin by clicking the button on your Manage area called Location Wizard. So it opens this window to define a grass database and location name. Again, the, our GIS directory is set on the C drive grass data folder. And we're going to create the name that we want to use for this location. So let's call it tutorial six location. And we have to give it a title. Eventually, other people will be working with your locations, with your map sets. And they'll need to find a way of um, differentiating what they're using, what they're doing with what they're getting from other people. So try to be as helpful as you can on the description. So tutorial six location. And we need to, whenever you're working with a map or with somebody ask you to create a new location, you're going to have some basic information that you're going to need to create it. Uh, your project, I mean, sorry, your um, your projection, your uh, your, uh, your your coordinate system, your zone for the UTM or, or location. So all that you're gonna have some common information before you can start a project. And depending on what you have and you don't have, we'll be using different aspects of or, or different ways of creating a new location. For this location, we have our our coordinate system, we have our projection system, and we have our zone projection system, which on this case, we're using the UTM, I'm sorry, so we're using the UTM projection, and we have uh, um, NAT 83, that's our coordinate system, and it's based on zone 17. We have this bit of information from the documents that we receive to create a new project. So if you don't have this information, you might have something else. And that will dictate how what are you going to use to create a new location on the next screen. But for this tutorial, number six, we have this piece of information. And we will use that to create our location on the next step. So we go ahead and click Next. And since this project is called Creating a location using a coordinate system parameters from a list. It's the first one on top. And we already have the information we need for that. And the previous step, I show you what that information was. So we click Next. And this is what we use that information that we have. Our, we're going to choose our projection. We, we are using a UTM projection. So we, we have two ways of doing it. If you know the code, you can just type it in, UTM. But if you don't know, let's say for some reason you have a bipolar, conic, or western hemisphere projection, so you look for it by name, and then you get the code. So we're looking for the UTM. <clears throat> so we go download, and it, well, it's called the Universal Transfer Marketer, uh, Marketer UTM. So we go ahead and select that, and now it adds a code automatically. So we click Next, and it's asking us for our projection parameters. 
we do need the datum associated with the ellipsoid just to give us more data to work with early later and we know we're in zone 17 we got this from the documentation where we see from people asking us or our project manager or supervisor will give us this information so we know we're in zone 17 oops we don't need the c we just need the number and we're not on the southern hemisphere our project is located on the northern hemisphere in north carolina for those of you living in the united states we're on the North Hemisphere. So we have Sun 17 and we go ahead and click Next. Now it's asking us for a specific geodetic datum. That also, we got that earlier and it's called NAT83. And again, if you don't know the code, you can just scroll down until you find it. So NAT83. And this is just specific for North America. But if you live in Poland or Brazil, Philippines, you'll have your own uh, geodetic, geodetic datum. So we'll click Next. And that pretty much it's all we need to create a new location. And we're just going to go ahead and review our information. If something's wrong, we can always go back and change that. If we agree with everything that it's here, that we have all the information that we need, then we go ahead and click Finish. That will create a new location and before doing that it's going to ask us if we want to set the default region uh, the extents for the brief default region and a resolution for our project if we have that information we can go ahead and click yes if we don't have that yet we don't know what area exactly we're going to be working with or we have a resolution then we click no but let's say yes for now and just accept the default parameters that we have on this screen and if you were to know your west things and your east things or your false north things and east things, then you'll fill all that information here. If not, just click set region and we just give you, you know, a basic one, the, the major one. And again, now we have here our project location. We have the new one now, tutorial 6 location. That's our new location with a default permanent map set, which is where all the data is going to be stored once we start working with, the, with this location. But we also want to create a user, or maybe we have several users that we're going to have uh, to assign different pro uh, parts of the project. So again, we go back to the right on the Manage section and the second button, Create New Map Set in Selected Location. Well, we already have a map set, the permanent. We don't need to create that one because that one's created automatically. We're going to create a map set for a user. So let's call this user for tutorial. And then once we click OK, that's it. We have our user. And this is how we create a new location uh, by selecting the coordinate system parameters from a list. And there are other that we're going to be going on in the next tutorials. But this tutorial was just specific for that, to create a new location um, with select coordinate system parameters from a list. This is the end of tutorial number six. You practice how to define a grass database and location name. You also practice how to choose a project for your location. I'm sorry, projection for your location. You also practice how to choose your project location parameters. And finally, you practice how to choose your location specific geodetic datum. And please take a look at the notes and the tutorial notes at the end of the video on the notes. And if there's any questions you might have, just put it out there and I'll answer as fast as I can get to it. Also follow the links where there are uh, some other information that might be able to help you out and get uh, some more uh, pointers on how to use Grass GIS. And again, thanks for watching and uh, keep an eye for tutorial number seven.